great. So today I'm delivering my speech on when life hurts. What do you do when a battle chooses you? What do you do when something shows up on your doorstep that you did not correctly cause, choose, or definitely anticipate? Life is not always easy. In fact, some of you today are going through the toughest season of your life. There will be the seasons we will suffer. There will be the seasons of real pain. And the question is how do you respond to those moments? Life is hard sometimes. And easy, it's not an option. But it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth giving yourself a chance. It's worth fighting relentless, uh, relentlessly, never giving up. It's worth, uh, it's worth it. You can do it, you can do it. There's problem that we go through that cause stress, worry, anxiety, and fear. But you might be in the better of your life. I want to encourage you. It's not about what's happening around you. It's always about what's happening inside of you. Just because you feel afraid doesn't mean you have to be afraid. Just because you feel discouraged doesn't mean you have to be discouraged. Just because you have fear doesn't mean fear has to have you. And the silence of your mouth, the story that you're putting out. I'm not going to make it. I quit. Let's get a divorce. This is never coming back. We lost too many people. I have made too many mistakes. I'm a failure. Nobody can help me. Nobody can help me. And I don't know what's coming out of your mouth. But it's a death sentence. And as you continue to confess it, well, don't be surprised when, when it becomes in your life. We have to make sure that whenever I feel, whenever I think of that sentence, I must speak a life sentence. Oh, I'm feeling the thoughts of the, oh, I'm feeling the sentence of that. Oh, I'm feeling the thoughts of anxiety. I'm feeling I'm done. I have been used and it's hurt and it's difficult. And whenever it happens, I must speak a life sentence. No, I'm just going to keep showing up. No, I'm going to get back up. The righteous man, he falls seven times, but he gets back up. So that, never give up, never give up. That's all. Hello everyone, I am Hitesh and the topic is the law and mentality. Osho said the greatest fear in the world is the opinion of others. And the moment you are unafraid of crowd, you are no longer a sheep. You become a lion. The great roar arises in, arises in your heart, the roar of freedom. Sheep have no freedom. A sheep live with fear and uncertainty every day. A sheep never leads, a lion never follows. A lion is in complete control of his or her life. A lion does not accept scarves and does not get told what to do or where to go. The lion goes about his business fearlessly and with extreme competence. You will never lead the lion to the slaughterhouse. They will lead you. The lion is the king of the jungle. And it's not because the lion is the biggest. It's not because the lion is the fastest. It's not because the lion is blessed with any great advantage over other animals. It's the mentality of the lion that makes the lion the king of the jungle. Now, what is the lion mentality? Fearless courage. Bravery is the key trait of the lion. The lion will never surrender. The lion will never lie down and die. Not even if surrounded by 10 hyenas. The fight is never over until it is over. Maybe you are surrounded by hyenas. Maybe you are just buried by bills. Maybe you need to stand up for something else you believe in and that no one around you agrees with. Do not give up. Do not give in. Be fearless of going out what you really want in your life. And uh, maybe as it, uh, as it being four years and nothing has worked yet, maybe you are tired of hunting your goals and seeing no rewards. Do not give up. You must keep fighting. You have no guarantees of success if you keep going. But you do have possibilities. There is a chance. So that's all.